Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android UI. We're talking basically on the displaying bitmaps, that's the displaying of images, you know, from uh, a URL, that's a resource locator, which is from the on the server. So we're going to display the images in a, in a grid format, in thumbnails, and also in a detailed uh, view uh, page. I have this uh, application in which I've built, and I actually got some of the recap from the Android uh, samples, and I used it in order to achieve this uh, particular application. I will go straight to my Android Studios, where we'll start to talk about how the application is fully built. Okay, I'll first of all talk about uh, the layout. You know, the layout folders where I have the image detail fragments, the image detail pager, and the image grid fragments. Okay, I'll first of all talk about the image grid fragments, which actually, actually defines the grid layout of the application, which has a grid view to call on the uh, images in thumbnails so that each image will have a particular grid to sit on. You know, it has a layout width of the field parent. Uh, is the, the horizontal spacing is 1 dB with uh, a stretch mode, and also the vertical spacing is also 1 dB. I'll look at the image detail fragments. So after clicking on a particular uh, image, there should be a detail fragment to uh, show the large scale of the image. The, the grid view is going to be in a thumbnail format, while the detailed fragment is going to actually show the, the large scale of the image, that's the full width and height of the image. There's a progress bar, there's a frame layout, whereby a progress bar shows initially, once a click is being done, you know, an on-click listener is going to be attached to the grid layout, whereby the progress bar comes to roll until the, uh, the image, the particular image shows up, uh, which is actually done in the background thread. Okay, we have the come example does that's the package of the recycling image view and also the progress bar. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the image detail pager that actually calls on the support version for view view pager uh, layout, which actually brings out the detail uh, image to be precise. Okay, uh, without much ado. I would like to go straight to the Java class because we have a lot of Java, Java classes in this application. First of all, uh, we have a directory called Displaying Bitmaps and also the Common Logger. In the Displaying Bitmaps, Bitmaps rather, we have the provider which actually calls on the image class in which uh, we have the list of all URLs to the images. Now, it's actually enormous, there are plenty, uh, I had to accord them. In my previous lesson, I'm going to rip this into JSON so that it's going to be calling like a web service. It's going to call on a fly so that changes can be made to these particular images on the back end. No? But for us to, for the purpose of this uh, uh, tutorial, I actually accorded the, the URL into the, uh, the image URL's um, string. No? It's actually a string array with all the image the images url which is actually calling from the google user content.com you know we have all of them enumerated and also the image thumbnails is right in two places the thumbnails which is going to be sized in a smaller width and height are uh, compared to the uh the last scale of the image which is actually the, the, the larger aspect of the, of the image okay uh to look at the UI, the UI of the uh, of the application. You know, we have the grid view, which is the, the default. Uh, we have the grid fragment. We have the detail fragment and also the detail activity. Okay, I would like to look at the image grid activity. Okay, this image grid activity is the fragment activity. We are calling on create method and testing the if if view config is in the bug. You no. Know, Utilities, we have the utilities of directory as well. We call on the super on create and get the support fragment manager method. Uh, attach the find fragment by tag, you no, know, which if it's equal to null, you no, know, you find our final statement, you know, the fragment transaction. 
Now you give it FT. Okay? So with this FT, you add on to the, the, the ID of the content and also the email grid fragment to the FT. You have a commit to finish this uh, particular uh, method. Okay? Now look at the image detail activity. That's after um, the image has been uploaded in the grid format and you want to actually get a detailed view of the particular image. This class is going to be called, it extends the fragment activity and implements on this now. On this now here by uh, activates when you click on a particular uh, icon or a particular grid you know, to display the larger aspect of the image. Okay, uh, this calls on the on create method, the same thing that has been applied like the image grid activity and the fetch screen height and width to use as our maximum size when loading images as this activity runs full screen yeah we're gonna run the large scale of the image you know so we're gonna do for the uh, the scaling and also the resolution as is being handled in this particular uh java class wherever you find the height and the width of the uh particular image setting calling on the m image fetcher and also the m adapter and the m pager okay um that's fine uh, a lot of functionality. We have to override a lot of methods. The on resume, the on pause, on destruct, on options, item selected. Uh, thereby getting to know the particular item that has been selected. You know, you get the item ID to be able to equate with a particular image to display. Okay, let's look at the image detail fragment. Uh, this also extends the fragment uh, uh, class. Uh, we have uh, up to four, four fields here, yeah? the image data extra, the image URL, and the image view, and also the image fetcher. You know, the image URL, which is the link where the image is being extracted for, the image view that displays the, uh, the image on the view, and also the fetcher, which is uh, a background process that actually fetches the image to the view. Okay, we created some methods you know, to actually take on this um, task, the on create view, and also the on activity created, which uh, calls on test and if statement, the image activity class, if is instance, it gets the activity, and also the image fetcher also gets the activity and get the image fetcher method, and also load the image based on the URL and also on the image view okay and on click now it's been set onto it whereby uh is uh to get the the particular image this pass the clicks in on the image view to the parent activity to handle we have on the destroy method to by cancel any pending image work okay we have the util directory which actually has a lot of uh java classes too these are like the worker classes the, uh, the async tags, the dixlru cache, the image cache that actually keeps on to the image uh, uh, for a while, the image fetcher, the image resizer, the image worker, and the recycling bitmap drawable. These are all very necessary Java, which I won't be going into details because of time. I have the code uh, uploaded to my GitHub account where you can pick it up and also try to use it in the course of your application this is a full-blown uh display bitmaps uh which i actually got a cue from uh the android samples uh, uh application okay i would like to to upload this to my uh my journey motion emulator so that we'll be able to see what this actually uh is going to show so when i click on my run application uh this is gonna run and i've actually run it and i would like to display it on the journey motion look at how beautiful uh the display bitmaps comes up in the grid format okay you can use these sleekly very nice displays and it's actually very good okay get the scrolling effect so on and on click listener on the particular grid we actually takes us to the larger scale of the particular image okay 
let's get to see the large scale. Okay, that's just it. Uh, a scrollable effect will continue to pick each images uh, from the grid. Okay, continue to have them displayed and continue to display. So you can extend this application by using uh, the JSON. Uh, the JSON are speeding out, wrapping up all these URLs into JSON format so that it will port and also you decode it appropriately and it shows up uh, on your mobile application. Thank you very, very much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.